Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm on my way to a wedding right now. So I decided to do this smoky eye. So if you want to learn more, stay tuned. And uh, I'll show you how to get this smoky eye look. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And comment if you like. So I started off my look by taking some tape and just taping them on the corners. Um, I do this so that I can just get a better control of how my eyeshadow is supposed to look. So it actually comes out in a really nice straight line. So you'll see um, as I go along how it's going to look. Yeah, I know I look crazy, but try having your eyes with tape. I'm going to start priming my eyelids with an e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. I'm taking a flat brush and just applying it all over my eyelids. And I'm going to set it with some setting powder. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyebrow cream and with an angled brush and a spoolie. I'm going to use a spoolie to brush my eyebrows. That's a spoolie to just brush it out and make sure the hair is all nice and combed and I'm going to use some short strokes to apply some of this product into my eyebrows as you can see my eyebrows are very light and thin so I'm just going to try and make it look a little darker and slightly thicker as well so I'm making it look quite natural nothing too over exaggerated So I'm going to clean up my eyebrows using this LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm just going to apply it on the tops and bottom of my eyebrows. This product has a little brush to it so you just got to squeeze out a little and just apply it. So it comes on very very nicely. And I'm using a flat brush to just blend that out. I'm going in with a color Weekender from my um, Urban Decay eyeshadow palette called Born to Run. And I'm just going to apply it on the brow bone. I'm going in with the color Roof. I'm taking a fluffy brush to go over the crease of my eyelid just to get rid of some of that white color from the eyeshadow primer. Using a fluffy brush, I'm going to take the color Punk from the same palette and I'm just going to blend out the corner so I know where my eyeshadow is going to stop. Now I'm taking this color called Baya, I hope I'm saying that right, and with a fluffy brush, I'm going to apply it um, just, just above the crease of my eyelid. So I'm just going to go in circular motions and blend this color in very nicely. Using a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take that color I used at the beginning and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to take some black eyeshadow and this is by Body Shop number 15 and using uh, the same fluffy brush I'm going to start applying the black so you're going to see the smoky eye starting to form. Now I'm taking the primer, the e.l.f. primer that I used at the beginning and I'm going to just apply the primer towards the front half so that the color that I apply here will stay on better. 
My husband keeps asking me why I don't smile. But this tape is so uncomfortable. That it's very hard for you to smile and if you move then your smoky eye is going to go all out of place. Now I'm just going to take more of that black and blend it so that the transition between these two colors are much smoother. Using the color Stranded, I'm now going to apply that to the first half of my eyelids. So we've got two colors going in there. The stranded from the inner corner to the middle and the black from the outer to the middle. Now I'm going to do my liquid liner and I'm using this Revlon color stay. And guys, your winged liner would tape on. Oh, it's just amazing. I mean, you can get such perfect wings. Those of you who are scared to, to try the winged eyeliner, this is a perfect tip for you. I mean, my smoky eye looks really good. You'll see soon with this tape on. Now I'm just neatening up a little on the edge and do the other eye. Now using a wet wipe, I'm just going to wipe away any eyeshadow that may have fallen and just neaten out the winged eyeliner. Now I'm taking the same black eyeshadow that I used for the smoky eye and I'm just going to darken my lash line. I'm using that same shade Baya to also go underneath my eyelids. Now I'm taking my eyeliner and I'm applying it on my waterline. And now I'm going to use MAC setting spray. And put some lip balm on your lips. I always have dry lips so I gotta put some and now to prime my face, I use this Maybelline primer. So I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal to hide the dark under my eyes around my chin and any spots on my face so that when I prime my foundation all of them get hidden I'm using a, a fluffy brush to just blend it all out using my Bobbi Brown foundation. I'm using this brush to blend in my foundation and this flat brush to apply the foundation on. I use a lot of uh, foundation because I like full coverage. You don't have to use as much as I have, but I like to hide all the blemishes. Now go in with this brush and blend. I tap, tap it in so that I'm not brushing it on and getting streaks. So tap, tap, tap. Now to conceal, LA Girl Pro Conceal. I got this in the shade Toffee. 
so I'm highlighting all these parts in my face using this lighter shade of concealer and with the same brush I'm going to blend it all out now time for bronzer using this kind of brush I'm going to apply some bronzer onto my face and this is the bronzer by Urban Decay called Shapeshifter in Medium. What the bronzer does is actually takes away that plain foundation look. It just gives you a little bit of, I don't know, effect. So that you don't look like on smooth canvas. I'm using this brush here to apply my setting powder. So that powder is going to set all the concealer. Now time for eyelashes. This is my favorite mascara at the moment. You would have seen in all my videos, I use this mascara a lot. And now I'm using this fluffy brush to just brush out all that setting powder. And for a little bit of blush. I'm using my e.l.f. palette and an angled fluffy brush just to brush on some pink cheeks. I'm using this fan brush to apply my highlighter on my cheeks just at the top a little some on the nose bridge and at the tip of the nose I use some on the, on the top of my cupid's bow on my lips. Now to just apply some brow gel. I like having some brow gel. It gives it a nice effect on the brows. Looks a little natural. And now for the lips. I'm using this color by MAC called So Me. And time to set again. Now to highlight again the brow bone. And the inner corners of the eye. Now to set my hair, I'm using this Strictly Curls by Mark Anthony. I love this mousse. And I'm using my diffuser to just dry my hair. go guys that's the complete look minus the gown of course there you have it guys the smoky eye please like share subscribe and comment